The twelve disciples who witnessed the Lord's resurrection died a martyr's death by being crucified upside down, pierced by a spear, and hit by rods or by falling off the top of a sanctuary. I have no desire at all to extend my life like other people do. 
Even this harsh flogging convinces me of my Lord's love more strongly. Even if they kill me, nothing will change. The Lord's kingdom will only be expanded and this beautiful gospel of heaven will be spread continually. The Lord resurrected in three days after His burial and appeared to me first. And I testified to His resurrection and ascension. I always stood by your side, listened to you, wiped off your tears, and comforted you. How could I not cherish you, brought by the price of my blood? Now, even after 2,000 years, we can't, we can't find any love that compares to our Lord's. The precious blood of Jesus Christ turned into tears of love. Through the martyrdom of the disciples, the Father's providence and the Lord's love on the cross have been shared with us, which is an opportunity for us. In 1900s, for his refusal to participate in the shrine worship, Pastor Kichar Chu suffered many tortures. Finally, he died a martyr in prison. Pastor Chu, we were told that the Japanese are coming to arrest you because you are not worshiping at the shrine. What are you going to do? The Bible makes it clear that we must not worship anything other than God Himself. Worshiping the Japanese idols is violating the command of God. As we believe, brothers and sisters, as we believe the Bible to be the Word of God, this church cannot participate in the shrine worship. The shrine worship is in violation of the first and second commandments. Who is Pastor Jew? Are you? Arrest him.
Pastor Chu, take him here. Pastor Chu, don't you know that the shrine worship is not a religious ritual, but a natural ceremony? How could bowing down to the Japanese king who is alive be a mere national ceremony? It's obviously a religious ritual. Did you say king? You must refer to him as the emperor. Don't you blaspheme our great emperor. Your refusal to worship at the shrine worship is an act of denying the empire of Japan itself. Women have to demonstrate fidelity to their husbands. Vessels ought to demonstrate loyalty to their king. We, believers, have to demonstrate our faith in God. Pastor Chu, are you talking about faith? Take him and torture him. Overcome by the oppression from the Japanese Empire, the Korean Christian community decided to approve of the shrine worship and ended up bowing before the idols. Yet, Pastor Chu rejected the shrine worship to the end, keeping his faith. Father, please help our pastor to not surrender to the Japanese but gain victory. My dear, I'd, I'd like to have a warm cup of rice tea. You, you should be prepared to go to jail again. You must keep your faith and become a dying grain of wheat for the Korean churches. You are to suffer martyrdom to prevent the Korean churches from collapsing. Pastor, never walk out of this prison alive. Don't worry. At first, I thought I was carrying the Lord's cross. But now, looking back, I myself have been the cross the Lord was carrying on His shoulder. Oh, no. 
Dear brothers and sisters, do you love Jesus indeed? If you love Him, you ought to live according to His teachings. My prayer is this. First, help me overcome the authority of death. My Lord died for me. But how could I look the other way just because I fear for my life? Second, as the hardship goes on for one month, two months, a year, and even 10 years, it becomes unbearable. All I can do is rely upon the Lord. Third, I commit my old mother, my wife, and my flock to the Lord. Fourth, let me live or die for righteousness alone. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or, or peril or sword? Let me die or live only by Jesus. Fifth, Father, I commit my soul to the hands of the Lord. Bye. 
A flaming sunset in the western sky on the way outside the camp. I'm thinking of the cross on his weak shoulder. He wore a crown of thorns on his head and a bloody tunic on his body. On the way outside the camp, without strength he walked. One step and one more. And every step he took. Was full of tears. And blood. Wicked Jewish soldiers and ruthless Roman soldiers his his every step and every trace he endured such violence You reject the shrine worship, you have to walk on the nails. You cannot go this way without tears. You cannot go this way without blood. The narrow way outside the camp is the path toward Golgotha. You cannot go this way without tears. You cannot go this way without blood. The narrow way outside the camp is the path toward Golgotha. To get the everlasting life and blessings, I have to go this way. I should go up even though I'm hungry. I should go up even though I may die. No matter how hard the way of the cross is to go.
my Lord walk that way? How can I say I can't? His disciple Peter took the cross even upside down. How can I say I can't take difficulties and I can't go for I might die? How can I say I can't take difficulties and I can't go for I may die? In April of 1944, before Korea achieved independence from Japan, Pastor Chu was found dead on the cold floor of his prison cell, dying a martyr at age 47. Brothers and sisters, it's not time for cry. Now is the time for us to pray. Pastor Chu didn't pass away because he was weak and frail, nor did he die because of ignorance. When he had to speak the truth, he couldn't stay silent. When he had to die, he couldn't hold on to his physical life. That's why he chose to die. It's not time for crying now. We are to press on forward, looking to the glory of resurrection. And relying only on the Lord.